bones like a son bitch when I piss. Shit, you got the rash? Red itchy bumps? Mm-hmm. On the twig or the berries? What? The bone on the balls. Both? Oh, that ain't good. Bet I got it from little Mikey's sister. That shit could do anybody. No offense. like we've been. Roy don't have the balls for this kind of wake. Old boy's a paper pusher. This kind of thing's good for fellas like us. What? <laughs> They'd have killed your ass anyway. <laughs> Need you guys to secure the smuggling operation at the warehouse. Nice work. Those Fanooks never should have fucked with me. I'll send some of my crew. You take the Dark Union back, and then fuck Greco will be done. Today, I'm sure the file on Vito Skelet is about three feet thick, but that wasn't always the case. Hoover didn't even acknowledge the Mafia existed until 1957, so we weren't really keeping tabs on guys like Vittorio Scaletta till after that. Now, we know he served in World War II and did a six-year stint in prison for theft and illegal distribution of federal rations. It's, uh, it's generally believed he was a made member of the Falcone family in Empire Bay, though he's also a suspect in the death of Don Carlo Falcone. Now, if he did kill the Don, Vito must have had friends in high places because he was allowed to live. He was exiled, though, and forced to relocate down here, and the commission convinced Sal Marcano to make Vito a lieutenant and give him some rackets. Hey, Lincoln. Everything back to normal here now, thanks to you.
sold the whole thing for me. All right, all right. As good a job as you've done slowing work at the dock union. I'm surprised. Word is Andy Toretto's down at the dock union, demanding to know who's been stopping his people from collecting dues. Think he tipped off Greco to what's been happening? Nah. Knowing Andy, he'd probably see Greco in the ground next to you if he could. But he's a lifer, and if he's got a job to do, he's gonna goddamn well do it. Bad fucking situation all around. And it's about to get worse. Tell the boys they'll be back to work soon, Jock. You pissed Toretto off just enough that he's back at the dock union. You're gonna have to deal with him. Damn bookies. Shouldn't have known better than the first of the Some more? Jesus Christ, look, that's how it works. Those little slips of paper tell us who owes what. All that shit. Besides that, it's making us look weak. To who? The working men. They see us getting fucked. Won't be long before they think they can join in on the fucking. Anyhow, only thing you need to worry about is shooting that colored asshole if he decides to come back. Huh? you down, boy. Hey, hey, over here. No. <laughs> on his last. You standing with him or me? Fuck it. All right, I'm with you. Vito will be happy to hear that. The dock union's under control. Put some of you guys on it. I was in the third platoon company C of the 614 tank destroyer battalion during World War II. I trained as a medic, but I still carried a gun. Every man in our company was black. The army didn't know what to do with us other than they didn't want us fighting with the white men. Glenbach. Limbach was that little 
French town up there near the border with Germany, and we were ordered to take it. Now, the Krauts took out three of the four anti-tank guns we had, but there was no way in hell we were letting them get the better of us. We were determined to show we was just as good, if not better, than every other soldier in the service. I, I don't like talking about medals I got over there. Only way a man survives something like that is through the grace of God. Doesn't seem right celebrating a little piece of tin. No one knows I helped Lincoln except for you and John Donovan. Not that I'm keeping a secret, mind you. Just that nobody ever came around and asked about it. Greco's in that building at the end of the block. A lot of hooers in there. He's probably face down a pussy right now. You got any muscle with him? Yeah, a couple of meatheads. I'll go around the front, you take the back. If he tries to run, grab his ass. Nobody kills that prick but me. Fuck. Those are Marcano's guys. Cut, suck. Look, my back to the car, you drive. I'll cover us. Fuck if that little prick gets away. end up with my car. He's a little fuck, that's how. God damn it, why don't you just let Marcano handle this jackass? Marcano would just kill the little shit stain. I want to take my time. Besides, until I can get at Marcano directly, this is the next best goddamn thing. Point taken. No way I'm letting that dipshit get away. No way, you fucks. Greco's mine. Once I'm done with Greco, you cocksuckers are next. In there? Over there. He's out of his car. Cops are closing in. Hey, get the door. Yeah. Come on. Available unit. Suspicious individual in vehicle. Officers. You're gonna have to shake these corn potent redneck motherfuckers. What? What happened? You crossed the wrong motherfucker. That's what. Happened. Shut the fuck up. Get you assholes, mate. 
cops are still on us. Lose them, Lincoln. something about those fucking cops. Back to your place. Yeah. Pull around to the chum shack in the back. And as for you, have a little dignity. Christ. Help! Somebody fucking help! Help! Watch out for cops. Don't want to get pulled over with this asshole in the back seat. Whew. Shit. Didn't do nothing. You were getting ready to fucking kill me. I was just doing what Uncle Sal told me to do. Nah, that fuck never liked me. I get it. But this? You never tried anything like this before. I know. I know. Come on, Mikey. Why do you want me gone all of a sudden? He said you were a carpet baby. Never should have been down here in the first place. <laughs> you want me to keep going? You got nine more. Fuck! Listen, Jesus, he was worried you knew about the casino. And so we're gonna play up to Leo and the commission. What casino? Answer the question. Uncle Sally's. You, you, you see that construction across the lake? He's building a casino over there. He wants to go legit. Turn this city into Las Vegas. Gambling's illegal. Uh, yeah, no shit, it's illegal. <laughs> Which is why he's paid a bunch of money to get the laws changed. Who else is involved in this? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, I swear it! <laughs> Look, I... I told you what you wanted to know. You could have let me go now, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'll clean this mess up. No reason for you to stick around. Remember our deal. I'm expecting to cut of everything you bring in. Hey, I know how this shit works. You'll get your money. There's a woman named Alma. Helps me out sometimes. Cuban. Mean as fuck. She talked to us, see if she needs anything. Might be an easy way to bring in some extra money. Where's she at? At the warehouse. All right. What are you gonna do with him? Fish gotta eat like everyone else. At what point did you become aware that Sal Marcano wanted to build a casino north of the city? Pretty early on. Michael Greco told Lincoln about it. And Lincoln Clay's plan was to specifically target various entities related to Marcano's casino plan? Between the bribes he was paying out to get gambling legalized and the money needed to pay off the commission, Sal was stretched pretty thin. So Lincoln used that to his advantage. Forced Sal into making some extremely hard decisions. Decisions that would limit his options.
I'm telling you, we make twice as much bread moving heroin as we would from a stupid fucking casino. Maybe three times. This ain't about the money. <laughs> You're joking, right? All I ever heard from you is, don't give me that goddamn excuses, you understand? You paid me what's fucking old. You think this is a game, <laughs> son? And it's my fault for playing along with you. We're not setting you straight. But it's not a game. This shit wears on you, grinds you down. I ain't had a decent night's sleep in 43 years. And then after Lucho, shit. Well, hey, we got the cocksuckers who did that. Every last one of them. Yeah, and your uncle's still dead, ain't he? Yeah. You think sitting in that chair makes you special, huh? Somehow puts you above all the bullshit. Well, it's the opposite. All it does is paint a giant goddamn bullseye on your forehead. There's a price to be paid for all this, you understand? And I'm tired of paying it. Mainly, I'm worried I'm going to get a phone call telling me you're dead in a gutter somewhere. What do you expect me to do, huh? Work the front door? Glad hand folks as they come on in, maybe give them a quick slap on the ass? You run it with me. And here, after a few years, after I know everything's settled down, you'll take over. Find yourself a nice woman. Give me some fucking grandkids. Sounds boring as fuck. It's the only way, son. The world is changing. Used to be people knew their place. Now everybody's screaming about equality. And now they all deserve a slice of the pie. Niggas, mix, gooks, you name it. Our way of doing things won't work in a world like that. Yeah. You come to me with something like this, Lou, you better be goddamn sure. Yeah. Lincoln Clay is still alive. Fuck. 